Hey guys, this is CutiePie88. I am coming to you guys with a cute wig style that you can do with any headband wig. So this wig is from YMI Wigs and they are an Amazon seller. And this is in 16 inch, 150% density, curly headband wig. So I'm just gonna do an unboxing here. So it comes with the unit. One versatile headband, sweatband, neckband, mask, and one regular headband. It's a cute little pattern. And this is like a versatile headband, sweatband, something like that. Very useful. So here is the wig. Just gonna pull it out the plastic bag. It does come with netting over it. And first impressions was I love this curl pattern. Now it did seem shorter than 16 inches, but I'm guessing that's just because it's curly. So you just have to measure it with the curl stretch out. It does come with one small comb at the top, two small combs at the side, a comb in the back, and it does have adjustable straps. Very, very well constructed wig, and there's the adjustable straps there. This curl pattern is really, really pretty. Like I rarely see this nice of a curl pattern on a headband wig. So what you have to do, you have to separate a little bit of hair at the front. And I just put it in a little knot. I look so crazy but the back I have in some big chunky braids and I did make an anchor braid at the nape of my neck just to protect my hair back there and I put a tan stocking cap over it just to make it flatter and your braids do not have to be super neat at all under the cap so what you want to do is you use the comb at the top and you put it right behind your leave out And then next you enter the comb at the nape of the neck. So step number one, insert the comb here. Second step is insert the comb in the back. And then I do still go ahead and use the combs on both sides. Having the cornrows in your hair really helps the wig stay in place and not slide back because the combs have something to grip onto. And I know you're wondering what do you do with the band from this point? So as you can see, it's actually really, really small, barely noticeable, especially if you have a good amount of leave out out in the front. So you still want to go ahead and still use the straps just like you would a regular installation of a headband wig. You still wanna go ahead and use the straps just for security. And you can literally leave it just like this if you have enough leave out in the front. Or you can find a way to tuck it under, but I found that difficult if you're gonna use the comb in the middle but if you're not gonna use a comb in the middle, you may be able to tuck the band end. But here is a little bit more detail of the curl pattern. Sorry, I'm off to the side. <laughs> I loved the curl pattern on this unit. So what you do, you take your leave out, and I did have to flat iron mine. You don't have to flat iron your hair, but mine just needed a good flat iron. And I'm using some edge control. It's called Touchdown. I got it from my local beauty supply store. And just an edge brush and just brushing that edge gel on just to lay down my edges.
And you just wanna take a regular headband. And what you wanna do, you wanna gather your leave out and then take small pieces of the wig also and grab that behind your leave out. You can take as little or as much as you need, depending on the fullness of the ponytail you want at the top. And just slick it up, just like you would do a half up, half down hairstyle. And literally you just put it in a ponytail from here, it's so easy. Just taking a little bit more hair from the unit. And as you can see, you don't have to worry about track showing or anything, especially if you're gonna wear the top in a ponytail style. And don't worry about if your hair is a different texture, I'm gonna show you what to do to take care of that. So that's it. As you can see, it's very, very neat. And what you wanna do, this is how you handle if your hair is a different texture. You literally just use this to wrap around the ponytail holder so it looks even more realistic and believable that it's in half up, half down style and not a wig. So you're literally just wrapping your hair around the, around the hair tie. And look how realistic that looks. And you just want to use a bobby pin I had to take mine out and redo it. <laughs> and just secure the end of your own hair that you wrapped around. No one will ever know this is a wig, y'all. Fluff the hair out and you're literally all done. This is so cute. It came out way cuter than I even thought. <laughs> this was my first time trying this. I did get the idea from a girl on YouTube. I'll try to insert her username. But I am gonna brush out this unit so y'all can see the curl pattern. I really didn't want to brush it out because the pattern was so pretty, but I didn't want the video to be that short. So I'm just gonna spray some water on it and brush it out. And as you can see, it got really, really bushy. So you're really gonna need a lot of water and maybe even some gel to kind of make those curls pop again. But as you can see, they are popping <laughs> just with a little bit of water. I absolutely love this curl pattern. It's not like a jerry curl, but it's not a loose curl either. It's very, very islandy, very, very beautiful. And guys, I got no tangling and barely any shedding with this unit. I definitely suggest this unit if you're looking for that quick summer style and it's so versatile. Literally, these headband wigs are so versatile. And like, like I said, you don't have to worry about track showing in the back. And you can even do a bun at the top, but I liked it better as the ponytail. But that's it, you guys. I hope you guys enjoy. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much, YMI Wigs, for reaching out. And the links will be below. Bye, you guys.